Hello, today's class is all about basic electrical properties in N channel metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. So, let us see about the structural diagram of N channel metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Here, here I am going to apply a voltage VGS, VGS between gate to substrate. So, now what is going to be happened at different modes when VGS is negative, when VGS is positive, when VGS is zero. Now, in this picture we are seeing that I applied a negative potential to this gate with respect to this substrate, but what ha will happen when VGS is equal to zero? So, when we are give not giving any biasing or otherwise when VGS is positive, when VGS is negative, we will study in this further slides. So, now let us see about the N channel MOSFET. So, this N channel metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor will base only on the majority carriers that are electrons. Why it is going to work with only the majority carriers means since it is a unipolar device. Since it is a unipolar one, unipolar means the current conduction is due to only the majority carriers, where in case of bipolar junction transistor, bipolar means the current conduction is due to both electrons and holes. But here in N channel, the current conduction is due to majority carriers. In N channel, the majority carriers are electrons. So that's the reason the working of N channel MOSFET is based on the majority carriers that are electrons. So what I have written here in the second point itself, so SiO2 acts as an insulating material between gate and a substrate. So if you see this picture, this SiO2 is acting as insulating material between polysilicon as well as P substrate. So, insulating means a dielectric material. This is P substrate means conducting one, and polysilicon means it is also a conducting one. So, two conducting materials. So, a dielectric material is placed between two conducting materials. So, it offers some capacitances. Next, when we apply a no voltage no voltage between gate and source so when we apply vgs is equal to zero as i have written vgs is equal to zero here but i am going to apply a voltage between gate and substrate so when no voltage is applied between the gate and source gate and source so when we are not going to apply a voltage but in this picture there is a negative voltage applied to this gate let us consider when vgs is equal to zero if it is not there if you consider imagine vgs is not there so what happens so when we, there is no voltage vgs is equal to zero a small leakage current will flow between source to drain so there will be a free flow a small current will flow between source and drain but in practical but in practical the, but in practical there will be a small leakage current due to majority carriers but in theoretically we can say that there will not be a current flow between source and drain when vgs is equal to zero as i have written here a very as i have written here a very small leakage current will flow between source and drain i have written here that is of practical only but in theoretical there will not be a free flow of current between source and drain under VGS is equal to zero and that leakage current will be in the order of nano amperes itself. So nano means into 10 to the power of minus 9. So no need to worry. So we are not going to consider in theoretical session, but in practical there will be some current that will be in the order of nano amperes. So all this process is considered as a flat band state. So when VGS is equal to zero means when we are up now when we are not going to apply any voltage to the device. We so it is considered as a flat type or flat band state. It is considered as a flat band state. Next is when the negative voltage is applied to gate. 
when we are applying a negative voltage to the gate which has shown in this picture this negative voltage is connected to gate what happens no electrons are going to attract towards the gate and therefore there is no free flow of current between source and drain so when you apply a negative voltage to here this is a negative one and this positive is connected to p substrate so p and p so repulsion here and 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 so repulsion so therefore there is no conduction at all and also there is no free flow of current between source and drain and this state is considered as accumulation state this state is considered as accumulation state why it has got that name as accumulation means it is going to accumulate the majority carriers so the majority carriers are holes so whatever the white bubbles which i am showing in the p substrate is considered is holes and whatever the blue dots is there these are all electrons so what it is the p substrate is doing it is going to store or it is going to accumulate more number of majority carriers holes so that's the reason it has got that name as accumulation state so i repeat when a negative voltage is applied to the gate or a policy leak on what happens this is negative and these are negative electrons so repulsions is going to occur and similarly with respect to substrate this substrate is a p type and this is a positive terminal of the battery therefore repulsion repulsion there, therefore there is no conduction at the at all in this device and also there is no free flow of current between source to drain this state is considered as accumulation state so still now we have studied about the flat band type as well as accumulation state under flat band state means vgs is equal to zero there is no free flow of current under accumulation state vgs is a negative vgs is negative and also there is no free flow of current between source to drain and the third one is when we apply a very small positive voltage to the gate so in this picture it is having negative symbol so assume or imagine if there is a positive voltage at the gate if there is a positive voltage at the gate assume i am saying assume if there is a positive voltage but in this picture it is having a negative potential but assume when there is a positive voltage at the gate what happens what happens when a very po small positive voltage is applied so electric field is developed across the gate and substrate which is perpendicular to the channel so the first point is when a very small positive voltage is applied to the gate when a very small positive voltage is applied to the gate there exists a electric field between there exists a electric field between the gate and the substrate so here the electric field is going to generate between the state uh, which is perpendicular to the channel where the channel is going to exist the channel is going to exist between these two points between source and drain so if you see this one this electric field is 90 degrees with this uh, channel so that's the reason i've written here as point as when a very small positive voltage is applied to the gate electric field is developed which is perpendicular to that channel so what happens when a positive voltage here negative is there but assume positive what happens when i apply a positive voltage here what happens a electric field is going to develop across this polysilicon as well as substrate which is perpendicular to the channel between source and drain so that is all about the second point and next in going to the third one the uh, sorry uh, the, in going to the second one the electric field exerts a force that pushes holes away from the oxide layer similarly electrons will move towards upward direction so what happens so when this is negative but assume as positive so when positive voltage is connected to negative terminal here and negative is connected to positive terminal what happens in the previous state repulsion here it is going to attract so therefore the electron will move upwards and the holes will move away from this polysilicon so that the thing i have written in this second point the electric field exerts some force that pushes the holes away from the oxide layer and the same time this electric field moves the electrons towards upward side so when positive voltage is applied to this one so these electrons will move towards this positive terminal of the battery and these holes will move towards the negative terminal of the battery so this state is considered as a depletion state whenever it is happening whenever this operation is going going on process 
so a depletion region is going to create so that depletion region is seen in this picture as uh, that depletion region is having a negatively charged ions this uh, depletion region is formed between source and drain the while the when a small voltage is applied to the gate this depletion state under this state, depletion state also there will no, there will not be a free flow of current between source and drain do remember so up to now we have studied about the three states one is flat band state second one is accumulation state and third one is depletion state among these three states there is no free flow of current between source and drain in the first state what we are doing vgs is equal to zero therefore no current flows between source and drain in the second state what we are doing vgs is equal to negative no free flow of current in the third state what we are doing so we are going to apply some positive voltage to generate a depletion in to generate a depletion between source and drain so the uh, generating the depletion region is considered as a depletion state so this is all about the third state and next one is fourth state inversion state so when we increase the gate voltage here we applied a positive voltage similarly here also when increase increase that positive voltage which is equivalent to threshold voltage so what is this threshold voltage threshold voltage means similarly like our diode is there na? so in order to conduct the diode it has to reach its cut-in point so when it reaches the cut-in point only then it starts conducting similarly the uh, mass transistor is also having threshold point so when it is exceeds that threshold point then only it starts working as an amplifier or a switch anything any appliances so similarly when we increase the gate voltage vgs is equal to vt a conducting channel is going to exist between source and drain so when vgs is equal to vt a conducting channel exists between source and drain so in the second point what i am discussing is when we increase the vgs greater than threshold voltage when vgs is equal to vt conducting channel existed so when you increase vgs minus vgs greater than threshold point when you increase the voltage greater than threshold point what happens there will be a large number of electrons will accumulate in the substrate what happens when vg is greater than vt large number of electrons will accumulate near the substrate that is below the that is below the gate so it will induce to form a reverse current that will induce to form a channel layer inversion form inversion form a channel layer is going to be formed between drain to source normally a channel should exist between source to drain so source to drain but i am in, in, i am increasing that vgs greater than threshold so therefore a inversion layer is going to exist so if you see here this is the inversion layer which you have which you are seeing in this picture this is the inversion layer actually how this conducting channel is going to exist between source and drain when vgs is equal to vt conducting channel exists between source and drain but unfortunate when vgs is greater than vt when vgs is greater than vt so, uh, what happens so the mobility of electrons in the substrate will is going will will be going to increase and it will starts to form a inverse reverse layer from drain to source so this will induce to form a channel layer from drain to source so changing its behavior that is the reverse direction of current and this process is called inversion state and that layer is considered as inversion layer so this is all about inversion state next so some of the points so we uh, we are discussed in this basic electrical properties of nmos is first one is flat type uh, flat band state second one is accumulating state third one depletion state fourth one is inversion state and now let us discuss about the fifth one and the last one is conduction state how it starts conducting in the in the before four states there is the mass is not the mass transistor will not conduct why because there is no free flow of current between source to drain but here it starts conducting that state is conducting state how it is going to start conducting when you apply voltage between drain and source till now we didn't apply any voltage between drain and source we applied voltage between gate and source itself vgs is equal to zero vgs here this here also vgs we applied voltage between gate and source only so that's the reason there is no free flow of current between source and drain now i am going to apply a voltage between drain and source 
so there will be a mobility of electrons and which will start move to move from source to drain so this is considered as conducting states and next in going to the third point from the above states the voltage is controlling the total transistor action that's the reason this mosfet is a voltage control device so the vgse is going to affect the total action so if you see that four states the vgs plays a key role so that vgs is affecting the total transistor action so that is voltage control device next vgs is a controlling voltage here and the current between source and drain will depend upon the value of vds the voltage across drain to source so now let us discuss about the modes of operations in enhancement mode of n channel metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor go to this slide right in going to the enhancement mode first we need to establish the channel our main agenda for the first point in enhancement mode is we have to exist we have to generate a channel so if you see this uh, slide before this one sorry this one when the channel is going uh, is going to exist when vgs is equal to vt therefore the sufficient number of ions are developed in the channel to conduct so conducting channel existed when vgs is equal to vt so the same thing i am going to study in he here also in enhancement mode in order to establish the channel in the first place so a minimum voltage is required that voltage is a th is a threshold voltage so that must be step that must be established between that must be established between gate and source that must be affected with vgs so therefore when vgs is greater than vt when vgs is greater than vt then only the channel is going to exist so if you see the picture i have written here the condition is also here when vgs is greater than vt then only a channel existed between this source to drain do remember that uh, how how the channel is going to exist when vgs is v, v, greater than vd and also i have written here when vds is equal to 0 as a second condition in this picture so if you vds is equal to 0 definitely the transistor will not work why because there is no free flow of current between source to drain in order to work the transistor we need to apply the two biasing voltages in order to work the transistor in an amplifying mode or switching mode or any mode of operation the transistor has to be a two biasing voltages first one is vgs voltage should be there and vds should be there so in the previous slides we studied the different states accumulated state flat band state depletion state inversion state uh, all those states vds we didn't consider the vds over there we considered only vgs so if you see that one we consider only the vgs but not the vds so that's the reason there is no free flow of current between between source to drain in that so but here in uh, going to the operation modes we have to consider the two voltages vgs as well as vds so here in in this state v, when vds is equal to zero and vgs is greater than vt so under this condition the transistor will be in, the transistor will be in ideal mode the transistor will be in ideal mode thereby existing a channel between source to drain this is all about uh, this diagram so in order to establish the channel first of all that vgs should be greater than vt and vds is equal to zero zero then only then only a channel is going to exist and therefore there is no there is no free flow of current between source and drain next second point this is non saturated mode of operation this is non saturated mode of operation in enhancement mode this is very very important do remember that so here also there are two conditions so uh, no need to study this one i am going to explain with these conditions itself so if you see here two conditions are there vgs greater than vt and vds is less than vgs minus vt so when vgs is greater than vt means definitely channel existed similarly like here vgs greater than vt means channel existed so so channel existed and vds is less than vgs minus vt as i said in order to work the transistor there should be two voltages vgs as well as vds here the transistor is an off state why because vds is zero but here the vds is there but it is at some finite value so 
when this vds is less than vgs minus vt then we can say that it is in non saturated mode it is a in non saturated mode non saturation means linear mode of operation so under this non saturated region only this mos transistor will work as an amplifier will work as an amplifier so see here what i have written here is now consider the conditions prevailing when current flows in the channel by applying the voltage vds so in the previous slide i didn't apply that vds now i am going to apply vds so therefore de definitely there will be a drop i or drop so that is vds will be dropped across this channel so vds is developed across this channel so this the resultant what happens this results what happens this results there will be a voltage between gate and channel that is varying distance along with the channel with the voltage being maximum of vgs so the voltage between gate and channel the voltage between gate and as well as this channel this channel is an ionic type this is ion concentration type so this is conducting and gate is also conducting due to these the due to the, the voltage between gate as well as this electron ion charge in the channel ionic charge in the channel will vary with the distance along with the will vary with the distance along with the vgs when we increase the vgs definitely there the distance of the channel is going to increase so that the point i have written here the results in the voltage between gate and source varying with the distance along with the voltage being a maximum of vgs so when we when we get the vgs at a maximum point that maximum point is considered as effective gate voltage that maximum point is considered as effective gate voltage that effective voltage gate voltage is vg is equal to vgs minus threshold voltage vt so there will be a voltage available to invert the channel at the drain so so here increasing the voltage so what happens a inversion state is going to be formed here so that is written here since the effective gate voltage e vg is equal to vgs minus vt so there will be a voltage available to invert the channel at the drain end so inversion inversion layer chances inversion layer is going to start here when vgs minus vt is greater than vds what happens inversion layer starts when vgs is vgs minus vt greater than vds but it is a non saturated non saturated condition is vds is less than vgs minus vt vds is less than vgs minus vt therefore a voltage a, therefore a invert uh, voltage available to invert the channel at the drain and start so this limiting condition comes under when vgs vds is equal to vgs minus vt so for all voltages vds less than vgs minus vt is a non saturated mode so do remember that so don't no, no need to worry about this paragraph so the the thing you have to remember here is these two conditions only vgs greater than vd means channel existed between source and drain second one is when vds is less than vgs minus vd definitely it will be in the linear mode or a non saturated region so therefore it can acts as an amplifier so that was explained over here itself so in going to the saturation mode so this is saturation one so saturation means uh, vgs greater than vd and vds is greater than vgs minus vd but in non saturated it is vds less than vgs minus vt but here vds is greater than vgs minus vt so what happens so when vds is increased to a level greater than vgs minus vt in this case an ir drop and ir drop vgs minus vt takes place over less than the whole length of the channel so that the over part of the channel near the drain so there is so insufficient electric field so what happens when it is greater than vgs minus vt so it will going to take place o uh, takes place at the whole length of the channel so therefore over part of the channel near the drain so near the drain there is un, there is insufficient electric field so uh, some sort of uh, some lossage of uh, electric field available to uh, so there will be a insufficient electric field in the the drain and it which will cause to make an inversion layer which will cause which will gives rise to an inversion layer to create the channel so when there is an insufficient electric field available so it causes to make a inversion layer in the channel and this process is considered as pinch off 
and this process is considered as pitch off. Next, when VDS is greater than VGS minus VT, the condition explains that it is in under saturation mode of operation. So, typically I have written some values here. The threshold voltage is approximately equal to 1 volts and uh, when it is going to be 1 volts means when VDD is 5 volts. So, in general terms VT is equal to 0.2 VDD. Okay. This is all about the enhancement mode saturation type. Next, this is non saturated or linear. This is uh, in ideal state. In ideal state, we are going to generate a channel between source and drain. That's it. In going to the second state, we, are, uh, we need to work this transistor under linear mode of operation or non saturated region. So, under this point, what we are doing is we are going to increase the threshold voltage, which is increase the uh, increase the grade to source voltage above the threshold voltage then only a channel is going to exist and after that what we are going to do is it has to be work it has to be work effectively it has to be work effectively under linear region when vds is less than vgs minus vt when vds greater than vgs minus vt it will go it will start saturating so that saturating is shown in this figure okay so for any for any problems so uh, the reference is taken from the textbook basic vlsi design by douglas a pucknell kambran istagian this is princeton hall of india private limited publication so please refer the textbook it will be useful to you thank you very much